Hey everybody, Victor Fernandez here with a quick video for total beginners on placing the bow on the string and bowing uh, in a way that's correct, okay? So if your violin is up or viola, okay, up in playing position, uh, your spine is nice and straight, you're not putting your jaw, right? You're not putting your chin on the chin rest, you're keeping your head nice and straight, your violin shoulder rest or viola shoulder rest is lining up pretty high in your shoulder, maybe with your t-shirt line up here, right? You're in a good place to bow. You're in a great place to bow. What you don't want is your violin down here. Don't do this, right? Bring it up high. So now, let's take this off. So now I've got my bow hold. The way that I start beginners is with the bow, the thumb down here. Eventually, obviously we move it over here. Look, see, magic trick, it stays in place. Don't try this at home. But here's my thumb, right? And now, uh, if I am going to, I'm gonna place my ball on the string, bend the A string between the bridge and the fingerboard, right? And um, everything is loose, right? Everything is loose. I'm gonna bow on the A, open my elbow, and uh, let my wrist adjust and bend so I can keep my ball parallel. Here I go. We need to change the angle on this so that we can get a better view. Hmm, let's see. If I drop this down a little bit, that might be better. Yeah, there we go. That's even better. So now I'm going on the frog. The way out to the tip. Notice how my wrist is bending a little bit. My elbow closes, my wrist opens. There's a little bit of a bend there. Elbow opens and my bow stays parallel, right? Another thing I have the students do is uh, if we stand in front of a mirror. Now, if this bridge was like the fish Dory from Finding Nemo, and you remember that from class, Dory from the side is like a big oval. Dory from the front, however, is really, really thin, and you can't, like you can just see her little eyeballs, right, thin. So if you turn your bridge this way, it's very easy to see if my bow is parallel or not. So two things that I can do is place my bow at the middle and I can knock my bow out of alignment and I can bring it into alignment, right? Kind of like a windshield wiper at the middle of the bow, right here. Windshield wiper at the middle of the bow, right? Then, if you notice my elbow, my arm, my elbow here, my, my hand, my, the, the contact point of the bow, and my shoulder, if you draw lines with them, it makes a box. If I place my bow at the middle, I can also teeter-totter. As I go to the G string, my elbow goes up. As I go down to the E string, my elbow goes down, and they travel together, okay? So here I go, I'm on the A string, bowing a long bow, bending my wrist, and coming back, all the way down, and I can do this on all the strings. E string, keeping my bow parallel. A string, bow's parallel. D string, and G string. And everything is loose. Keep that bow hold nice and loose. So if you're a beginner and you're here and you're one of my students, that's the thing to practice. I hope this was helpful to you and uh, leave me your comments in the section below. I'll see you guys. Hope this was helpful.